fantastic set coming up in front of us instead. Let's yep. see if Elam can continue, continue this run. Get to bring you the Encore special. Both Encore natives, C versus Elam. And it kind of goes like this. Palu kind of messes with Villager for a bit. And Elam might be able to pu push it out and like able to get those stocks early, like what he did with Mystery. Yeah, but Palu, right, able to contest Villager so much better er, in the air. You have this invulnerable back air, you have the dash attack, allowing you to kind of ignore some of these setups, plus multi hits to get through the get through those balloons, which also extend the hitbox a little bit, and just Villager has a really hard time getting off the ledge against Palu. Yeah, no, and just getting tech chases on these platforms. I don't even agree with like this stage so much because I think this stage is more beneficial for Palu. If anything, if you're Villager, I think you do want it like a more enclosed stage. This way, you can kind of box with her because she doesn't have the fastest buttons. Nope, but what she does have, unfortunately, right, she has the ability, oh, very good movement, the ability to get great kill confirms, but also a very linear recovery. And you know what deals with those great? Well, a bowling ball drops on your head. Yeah, and, well, a bowling ball dropped on my head will definitely deal with a lot of things. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, you might need some ibuprofen afterwards, yeah. but there's none available here for C. The Elam trying to find his way off ledge back to stage. He's got to get there first, doing so for just a second, but C's been so good at these lead traps all night. Yeah, and both of our pilot players, Jen and C, are like profound lead trappers. It's like where they specialize. Some people will say, oh, it's because of Palu. Nah, these guys play other characters and they will ledge trap you just the same way. Yeah, they both know how to do it, both on, like they mix up their prediction and reaction based ledge traps so well that you think, oh, they're going to predict, right? I'm going to do this, and then they just reaction ledge trap you and you just die for it. Great use of that of that Lloyd from Elam, just covering his ability to reset to neutral, but getting caught in shield, and Palu gonna find the poke and take the stock with the back air. All right, what's the situation right here? Okay, auto radical just to get a bit more percent. And C, I like the fact that C just runs up, presses shield, and just tries gains the stage control, and that's like what's the most important right there. Yeah, like his, his ability, like the fact that he's prioritizing knowing how hard it is for Villager in this matchup to get off the ledge, that we're seeing him just find these horizontal strings rather than opt for Palu's traditional juggles really says, I think, a lot about C's familiarity with this matchup. Yeah, and just knows, like, Villager doesn't have, like, the best of options to get off the ledge, but an axe to the face will definitely do it. Yeah, honestly, I think the way, like, Villager kills you in the most brutal ways. He yeah, drops bowling balls on your head, he hits you, he puts an axe in your skull. Like, how? This guy is definitely like a horror movie. Yeah, I mean, when when can we get a Stephen King story about Animal Crossing Villager? <laughs> You'll make it happen. That's what I'm asking. But right now, uh, the only other question I'm asking is how can Elam find his way off ledge? Finally doing so with a double roll, but immediately getting put back. C doing such a good job controlling this platform space. All right, what's the situation? Okay, dash attack through the Lloyd. Invulnerable options are broken. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, good job behind the correct way. And C is starting to panic. Okay, that back air is extending from the Lloyd to kill Villager. Something, something, invulnerable options are broken again. I, right. that, I, high level analysis right there, folks. All but right. sometimes, you know, that's all you can say is... They're, they're broken. He, he throws out an option that allows him to contest a move for free that kills you if it hits you like yeah. and has good frame data it's like it's like right like people are like some people are trying to convince you that palu doesn't cheat you know like I yeah Renair the plays the game for you and like oh. i could see that but oh. he cheats and speaking of cheating Wait. this guy cheats you see this character yeah Steve. Alex. <laughs> that's alex yeah well no that's my name <laughs> one of two and uh, we see immediately, right, that back air again contesting the minecart just for free. One of the best moves in the game to deal with it. But that's the chain across the stage. The fair yeah. missing the sweet spot, though. So C gonna hold on to his stock for just another minute. Yeah, and this is the unexpected thing. A lot of, not many people know about Elam's villager. Or, well, they know about Elam's villager, but they don't know about just the 
And this has been a character Elam has been working on in the background. That being said, he hasn't really gotten room to mine at all. He's lost his sword, trying to find a space to craft with it. Gonna get a grab, allowing him to do so. But he still, right, only has the, those three iron, a whole bunch of wood. Just still really operating off of the resources he's been given for the most part. Yeah. And crazy. Getting the double hit with that down smash. Just working out. That, and that was crazy. Yeah. Like, the, the block into the fourth or into the second block. Elam's positioning on some of these setups are... Is really impressive and they're incredibly unique as well. Like they're they're unlike setups I've really seen from any other seat. Yeah, no. Elon playing villager. So known for a few setups. You saw the setups they did to kill mystery. So a character like Steve can be so detrimental in their hands and you're seeing it here. Yeah, right when you we, we saw the same thing right with AK as well. L you give someone who's familiar with setup characters a character who can kind of do whatever they want and suddenly you just see some very creative setups that time though C was in great DI knowing in that he was gonna look for that jab fair again and finding his way out of it, but it's just all Elam so far. The pressure not gonna matter though, because guess what? Explosive flame just appears. No travel yeah. time there. Yeah, and you can see the like the little spark, and that was Elam's fault for just like continuing to mine and not paying attention to it. To stop explosive flame from going through, you can't set up a two block wall and it won't go through. Yep, it doesn't have a travel time. It does still have an ECB that comes out, so it, it does detect wall collision. And that, at spacing, yeah, he was gonna look for a minecart cancel. Unfortunately, missed spacing it a little bit. Having to use a back air just to get off, and with only three iron, he's forced to mine in this situation. Thankfully, he's, for him though, C wasn't able to, to be in range to get that auto radical off. Yeah, and C at 146 is endangered to up throw percent. If Elam gets a bit more rage. Yep, but he has to get off the ledge first, and that was the classic. I pushed minecart because it's good. It didn't work. That's, That's been hard. going around now with only one resource. The block coming in clutch, stone lasting just long enough, and down throw. The double jump gonna come out, and beautiful oh. Elytra mix up coming into up smash. I've seen it come out in up smash before, but never like that. Yeah. And if I'm C, that's kind of frustrating right there, because you basically were, had so much momentum, and there's like the little tick. That's what got you killed. That being said, right, Elam hasn't found too many opportunities to mine, only has one resource left, and is getting forced to do so, oh, allowing C to kind of get in for free in some of these situations. And if he closes out the stock, you're going to be Steve without any diamond, without a lot of resources, and that yeah. could spell trouble. Yeah, and actually, Elam hasn't gotten a single diamond this entire time. Nope, it's because he hasn't been able to mine much, right? Yeah. He hasn't been able to make push for you know to, to make progress towards that 22 to 26 items you need to grab ab and he's just done a great job of closing out stocks every time he gets close yeah oh yeah not gonna be it just the fact that that almost killed yeah. at 110 after hit on platform even still like it's kind of ridiculous yeah i did i know it doesn't kill on the ground but the platform actually had me wondering right there yeah that move like this character's moves are so strong they kill you yeah. so dang early it's absolutely ridiculous and iron now gonna be the best tool we've seen from elam all night no resources on deck but so far he hasn't needed them yeah like he's just out fundies and see here with the steve and oh forward air not yeah. gonna do it how yeah. much matchup experience does he have with steve yeah i don't know there's not a lot of steves in westchester though to be fair it's just elam and elam barely comes out and bear gonna take it right there yeah, you, you were saying he barely comes out and the bear coming out to take the game yeah. there from him. Really good stuff, but the it, it really felt like Elam, or C, sorry, had some idea, right, of the basic counterplay to things like Minecart, but wasn't necessarily sure how to scrap with Elam up close, right? We yeah. saw him, C, doing a great job smothering the resources, but once he got in, he wasn't really sure how to counter what Elam was cooking up and now we do see the Steve. Yeah, so no, no more Alex. Well Enderman. Okay. Yeah, this was up to skins. Yeah. And those eyes staring at you from the woods like there's no tomorrow. Oh, C gonna try to channel the rain gods and you know, cook up some weather to get this Enderman out of here. But yeah. we'll and see I, whether Tom knows like what the forecast is here yeah, on Tom's And I do like the stage choice. Even though you do give like Steve a bit more room, it you do get a lot more dirt on this and wood. Yeah, 
and that dirt, getting more dirt means right you're gonna mine resources faster you're gonna get more blocks overall but the flip side is your blocks aren't gonna last as long so those those block into text we saw to great effect from elam in game one are gonna be a lot less common here yeah no definitely and all right making the l Oh, he got, oh, he was trying to get him to hold that L with yeah. the anvil real quick, but not able to find it. Great tech from C E there to get out of the situation. And one of the things as well in this matchup, very important to remember is if you hit a move with block, oh. it's going to stale and uh, not stale that up throw. Going to close it out. Yeah, and getting the KO screen, which is what you don't want. You want to end up dying fast. So giving Elon more time to mine, oh. it's unfortunate. Okay. Wait, no, he gets the extra jump with the minecart, so able to survive just for the moment. Elytra gonna maybe, yes, with the fantastic angle, gliding all the way around the world, making it look like Brawl Meta Knight for a yeah. second, but C still managing to close it out, not let that extra credit come through. Some Brawl Bet just got a flashback. Oh my god, yeah, no, thank you. Right? For, somehow, Pelk is not here. Yeah. here. I think it's the first local I've ever seen, like, first opportunity to enter a tournament where he's been in the area and not done so that I've ever seen from him. But I'm just imagining him tuning in and just, like, having to curl up in a ball. Not again. Uh, this time, though, right, C is playing a lot slower, a lot more defensively, trying to bait out options from Elim, force more of these resources out, but not push those preemptive buttons up close that were getting him called out over yeah. and over. All right, and then making another wall. Okay, so there's a couple moves with a little bit of staling, but it's not gonna matter. Down tilt back air from C, gonna close it out and put him in a good position. And yeah. the footstool not gonna connect. So yeah, missing able, the, he missed it. Yeah, I mean, able to shield that down air or, or so clutch because it would have absolutely closed it out. And now it's just Elam trying to find any resources at all. Both these players are playing very patient right now, but it's C who's ca really capitalizing on it. Uh, it, and the big thing right here is Elam has just not been able to close the stocks as he was last game. He managed to get that really early one, like in, for the first one, and it's been the sea show all over. And now taking the stock, but he has 71%, yeah. not a lot of material. And again, mining just dirt and wood. That's not what you want. Nope, you don't. He hasn't gotten too many iron. He doesn't have gold, so no power mine cart, so it's going to be a lot slower. Now he does, so he's at least got a couple on deck, but with only two iron, not too many opportunities to make good use of it. Going to get an advantage state there, trying to hold an L just for a second, trying to get a couple of resources, but mistiming his own block break, and that's what happens when you don't main this character. Yeah. And when this is just like a secondary that comes up once in a while, you don't have all the little things down. Yeah, and, and C's been able to take advantage of those, right? Like, and now, like, no, only gold, no iron, or... The crafting table getting broken to extend the hitbox, but it's not going to matter. Just great play from both these players. But And while Elam's been able to find a couple of hits, he really just hasn't been able to find anything meaningful for a while. And yeah. Ooh. Wait, yeah. That's, that's what happens when all you can find are stray hits, right? Yeah. Is no, eventually it's... your opponent, like, if you are playing a whole bunch of neutral 